Hi everyone. Okay, a quick video on the Fusions SG-1 uh, adapter for, for hybrids. It turns your Segele number 13, number 8, number 13, and number 19 into a hybrid. Uh, I really just wanted to shoot a quick video showing you a little demonstration of kind of how it works. So, uh, let's get started. Um, okay, first of all, you can see I have here a Segele 13 with the AGI on it in hybrid mode. Here I have the Segele number 8 with a Terminator on it in hybrid mode and probably my favorite one here is the 19 with the RSST on it in hybrid mode. So if you look right in front here you'll see what you get. Here is the adapter. This is well actually this is what has a 510 threading in the middle it has a Segele threading on the outside and it has a set screw. Here this black washer is an insulating washer that goes on kind of like that. This here is a battery spacer threaded insert. It can be removed, replaced with something longer if you want something longer in there if you want to use them possibly another mod. And here are three very small o-rings. These are used on the AGA series Genesis and uh, the did clones. Those are to adjust your center pin. So let's move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. We'll move this out of the way. If you look, it'll take off the AGI, and you'll see the adapters on there. The set screw is tightened down, holding it on. No insulating washer. The AGI, if the insulating washer won't thread on, but the center pin is fixed. It doesn't. It doesn't move. Uh, so you don't really need it in that case. Um, next, we have the Terminator tank, which is again. It says double set screws on it. That was an experiment. Um, Again, no insulating washer, don't really need it. You just need to make sure that when you set up your terminator that you're, you, you give your center pin a little bit more exposure. You really want at least a millimeter or so of exposure on your center pins. Um, so we'll set that aside. And on the RSST, again, we see the adapter. There is our insulating ring, our insulating washer, and this it just barely it just holds on there just about half a thread. Um, I use the insulating washer if I'm running a button top battery. Um, I haven't had any any issues with any kind of shorts without it, but I we kind of felt it was needed. Um, peace of mind, I guess. With the RSST, what you will do. To set this up, this is my favorite setup, by the way. It is simply your center post, Phillips head. Screw it down just a little bit and expose your pin a little bit more than maybe you would stock. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that well, but it like about a millimeter of exposure. Put your insulating washer on. It just catches, just catches. Um, Turn around thread into the device. Like so. Now I mentioned battery spacer. And the battery spacer is when you have the number 19 and you want to run it in 18350 mode, you need to have a spacer in there to take up the gap. And that goes right there. It simply sits down on top, put it in. There's a 6 30 second set screw in there. You can change it out. You can change your lengths. You can turn it to brass, whatever you want to do. But we need that to work with the 18350 mode on the 19. But we designed it so that if you have any other mods, you can you can you could use it in anywhere you needed a battery spacer. So it's pretty versatile that way. Um, show you it working. Works excellent. 
Okay. The Aga. One of my favorite Genesis. You can see, maybe you can't with this camera, I don't know. The center pin has about just under a millimeter, maybe a millimeter of exposure. That is what these O-rings are for. Um, the very small ones will give you that exposure, just under a millimeter, I'd say, maybe a mil. Um, the larger one will actually pull that pin out a little bit more. Um, to put that on there, you do have to remove this center post. Um, take the nuts off, slide your pin out, slip your O-ring of choice over the pin down to the bottom of the 510 center pin, reinsert the pin, put your nuts, everything back together, build your coil, so on, so on, so on, put your cap on, boom, take your adapter, find the set screw, see what side uh, you need to, to go on, so here we have this side, thread it on, Grab an Allen wrench and just snug. You, you don't want to over tighten that. Just snug. You just you just snug enough to hold that adapter in place. Um, and we did that so that as you do battery swaps, um, your your adapter won't unthread itself from the from the 510. It it, it wants to. The, the 510 threads are smoother than the Segelli threading is, and the Segelli mod that, that comes from Segelli. Um, so we, we were getting a tendency of having it back out, especially on the AGI. Um, so there's your adapter in place. Grab your insulator if you so choose to run your insulator. Like I said, I run them both ways numerous times. I've never had a problem. Just kind of, it just just catches, just catches, and there you are. Uh, grab your device. You can see the exposure. I'm running a right here. This is the Orbitronic uh, 2900. Love these. Absolutely love these batteries. Um, put in the mod. Nipple top up. Attach. And just screw it on. Now, wick placement on your Genesis. I know you guys know about wick placement. Um, you know, what I do is I tighten it up. And you see here my wick is kind of on top. Uh, so what I'll do is it's tight. So I'll back off the, the battery just a little bit. The bottom cap and turn. And you back it off a little bit more and turn. Tighten it up so I get my wick where I want it. And there we go. Give it a bit of vape. There you go. So, the Terminator, put this back together. This is my, this is, you know, this is just awesome. I love this mod. I use this all the time. Look how good that looks. It's truly a hybrid. It really is. Direct battery contact on the positive pin. So, that's it guys. Quick video. Wanted to kind of show you, give a little, a little instruction to how exactly it goes together. Um, so, thanks for watching. Bye.